within the game. So, we start at 440. We then have to take an empty coaching stock from Gillingham Depot to Gillingham. And we then work the one minute past five Gillingham service to Rochester. We jump off. We have a 15 minute break. And then we take a Rochester to Raynham service. And then when we get to Raynham, we mobilize the train again and take it back to Gravesend. And then we do another Gravesend to Raynham service. And we have another break. And then we get onto the high speed stuff. And we do a couple of high speed runs. Um, and that should take us through until around about four o'clock in the afternoon today. So let's get started, shall we? So let's load it up. Now, the train's not due out of Gillingham um, Depot uh, until 4.50. So we I've just given myself 10 minutes to... Oh, we'll have to reload that because I accidentally didn't do the depot. Oh, dear. What a morning this is turning into being. All right, explore. Explore on foot. Summer. A little bit of cloud. Gillingham Depot, 4.40 in the morning. We'll get it right. Right, there we go. So we just let that load in, and then we'll be away. Right, here we go. So, oh, 4.65 has spawned in, in the depot this morning. This is the train I believe we want. This is the, the 450. So we just need to prep the train and get it ready to go into service. Shunter's already put the lights on for us, which is nice. Ooh. Right, we don't have to touch any of those, but what we do need to do is turn on our Okay, so let's get into the chair. Let's begin our service. Yep, here we go. We've got the 440. Right, so let's get our master key in. Start to sort everything out. So we've got our daylights on. Just have to take that master key out again as it's glitched. You'll just see master key on throughout the course of the display. Right, there we go. AWS has worked. DRA is working. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a quick break test um, to make sure that the braking system is working. Da -da 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 -da. Right, just need to check that everything's all okay yeah we're all looking good yeah all good up there so the way that we do thanks for the follow snapshot goblin 8 gaming okay so the way that we do the brake test is nice and simple we release the brakes to make sure that they go to zero then we apply a brake notch one make sure that the brake actually applies two, three, and then we put it into emergency. But that doesn't actually apply any more brake than full service. So again, we come down, there we go. Right, this train is good to move. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out and onto the reception road. So we need to put the reverser into forward. We need to 
just pop these into marker lights because we're not actually going out on the main line at this end but yes we are now ready to go so we will remove the DRA I'll give a little on the depot whistle and we'll start to take this train forward out of the shed towards the reception line So in the beautiful summer sunshine, we will just come up to the end of this road and just make sure all the points are set. Ahead of us, so that we don't have any derailing issues. Weather's nice, we'll get the windows down. Okay, so we'll stop short of these points. We'll just put the reverser into neutral and apply the DRA. And we'll then just check that the points are all set from this mode. Good job we do check because they're not set. So yeah, they're now set for us. We will check again in a moment when the services we can begin but we're now sitting here until 4.50 we don't want to go any further because it bugs the game out um, so if you do have any questions or queries with regards to what life as a real train driver is like please fire away because that is my day job um, so I can help with any questions or queries you have and I am more than happy to spend some time today with like an ask me anything within reason oh we forgot to do the PIS so we quickly do our PIS system so we are not in service It's a shame it doesn't have empty to depot on there, but there we go. At least we're displaying the right thing on the front now. So yeah, like I like I said, the book on for this turn was four forty. Um and we've prepped this one, five kilo five two. Which we're waiting to start. We then take this into Gillingham station, which is just behind the shed. We then take it up to Raynham. No, sorry, we take it to Rochester and then we take a service back to Raynham. And we're not sure what traction we've got on the 2 Lima 91 Rochester to Raynham. Um, there has been some problems at the Slade Green Depot today, so we could end up with a 375 or a 465. Um, and then we do some shuttle runs between uh, Raynham and Gravesend and Gravesend and Raynham. And then we go on to our high speed runs. Um, so fingers crossed everything goes okay and we don't get many delays. Um, otherwise it'll make a bit of boring viewing for you guys if we uh, get delays. Because you'll end up watching nothing. So fingers crossed we run to time. Yeah, no worries Willow. Good morning, welcome to the stream, the Shady Coder. Welcome to the stream, good morning, enjoy your lurk.
So let's share this with you guys. Let's make a bitly link for that because that's a ridiculously long, ridiculously long URL. Okay, so let's create a link. There we go. Right. Okay, let's let me create that. There we go. So if you want to know what we're doing today, you can. Morning, Rogan. Morning, morning. Oh, we're due to start. Uh -huh. Right, when we get into, when we get into um, Gillingham, I'll do that. Right, we'll take our DRA off. Forward. We are now moving, so we will just check our points are set again. As we had set those before we left. Yep. Now, if you don't pull up to that part <coughs> on this service, you do find yourselves running late. Which you haven't got time to get in and out again. Right. So, if you want to know what the running schedule is for this morning. Yep, no worries, Rogan. There you go. That is what we're doing today. That's the plan of action. Our diagram, so to speak. So we will just post that when we get into Gillingham into the bot so that the bot will have a command I don't know why it makes us go all the way down to the buffer stops Take our master key out. Set the DRA, but what we also need to do is just turn all of these off again if the game plays the ball. Alright, so down we get. Check that the red lights are both illuminated. Lovely jubbly. And then we need to run up to the other end because we need to be in Gillingham in a minute. So you tell me how we're supposed to do that. It's near on impossible. Jump up and in. Jump into the seat. Yes, we want to do it. Control W to get the master key in. Right. 
Okay, so we cancel our AWS, check that that's on. Right, we're good to go. Forward. And away we go. Just need to confirm that we're not in service. Now we need to just pull up to these points and change these points to go through the train wash. There we go, points are now set, we can carry on. So we are now proceeding towards Gillingham. But look, Rogan, there's a 465 in the depot this morning. They obviously got brought down last night from Slade Green with no space. That'll be out around 6 o'clock in the morning, that one comes out. Alright, so we're going through the car wash. Got a yellow signal there at the end of the reception road. So we will now proceed into platform three, I think we get. Oh no, platform one. Platform one, Gillingham. So we're going off and in. the level crossing yeah we literally it'll yeah, come out for for the rush hour it'll come as a rush hour service and then it'll go back into the depot again all right need to be at 15 mile an hour to go into platform one I don't know why it keeps turning that on. I'll turn that off again. So you'll notice the only thing I'm having on the HUD is the, where we're stopping in the clock and then the speeds for... I think there's nothing else. We're just driving by the dials to give you a, as much as we possibly can an accurate... making it feel like we're we're really the the driver of the day. Alright, so we're two minutes or three minutes late into Gillingham. So that's going to be the service done. But we're at a red, so put the DRA on, put our reverser to neutral and we will go to service three on the brakes now where was this train going to that is the question <clears throat> let's check and see if I've made a note of it hmm interesting Anyway, let's get that programmed into the bot. Now we're waiting for the service to begin. Uh, commands. Exclamation mark day. If you type exclamation mark day, that should then give you the link to that document. Right, okay. So, 
That's going to tell us that we've done the job. Lovely jubbly. We're going to return to free roam. Because we're going to carry it on. Right, so it's going to London, Victoria. So we just need to set our... Confirm the location. Come out of that. I'm going to reopen the doors. So we've already got our doors open, so we're already loading. Happy days, eh? Right, that's all programmed into the bot. Lovely jubbly. Need to keep that loaded on my screen so I know what we're doing. There we go. So if, if, you, if you're in chat, Rogan and somebody does ask, I'll do my best to type that, but if you could keep on top of that. Right, we've got to wait until 5.01 and 30 seconds. Right. <clears throat> we just need to open a window there. Open a window there. Oh, no. We need to open the door. There we go. Right, so just checking that the platform is clear. As we are driver operated only at this point, we'll quickly run and get a copy of the Metro. There we go, we've got the Metro, throw that in the cab, put it on the desk. Right, so we're good to go. So we will push the blue button. Doors are locked and secured. We close our driver's door, we get in, we take our DRA off. We get our reverser into forward. And away we go. Displaying London Victoria on the front. That's where we're off to. Clearing the platform nicely. We have our red lights on the rear. Yep, that's a good dispatch. So we need just to wait for the rear of that train, our train to come out over that 60 and then we can increase our speed. And the way that we'll do that is we go to the back. Where are we going? Yeah, it is a Victoria service. So we're good to go. So into the Gillingham Tunnel we disappear. And the speed limit in the middle of the tunnel does change to 50. So when we get to 50, I will just come off of the throng. Because there's no point going to 60 and then slam back down to 50. Well, we're actually running on time at the moment. First train of the day. We've left the station on time. But if we arrive at Rochester on time, that's another matter. Well, just going downhill in towards Rochester now. So we just need to make sure our speed's okay. Got that 30 coming up just at the end of this curve. So we're 
popped our brakes in just to bring the speed down again. It's like a TV show, this, isn't it? Eat your heart out, Paddington 24. There we go, 30 mile an hour for the 30. I'll just roll through, uh, which tunnel is this? Didn't see that Chatham tunnel, maybe? I think it's the Chatham tunnel. All I know is that there's lots of tunnels in this part of the world. So this is the first of two streams today, guys. We've got the eight hour marathon that we're doing now. Thank you, Lee Wade, I will hydrate. And then we've got the Great Western Diesels tonight from 11 p.m. <laughs> the 90s bus month's holiday, yeah. We left our braking a little bit late there, but that's okay. Do we need to roll in because we're an eight car train, so we do need to make sure we're rolling in. I just tend to stop in between the, the 8 and the 10, just to make sure. Right, we've got a green signal, so we only put the direction the switch to neutral, and we unlock the doors. Morning Kaleidoscope. Hope you had a good sleep and everything's hunky-dory. like to hear. Rogan snoring didn't keep you you're up for too long. Right, there we go. Let's lock the doors. Reverse it to forward. And away we go. We are on a 30 mile an hour bit of track. <laughs> oh dear. You've been rumbled, Rogan. So 30 mile an hour, all good. And then we come to Rochester and that's this job done. So we we have been the depot driver that's brought this out and into service. And then we have a little break. Get our bacon and egg butty and a cup of tea. Oh, is that a four empty four six five coaching stock in the loop there? That sits there till six o'clock as well. Oh, it's nice to see the four six five actually putting in an appearance now. It's been put in the game. Right, so we've got the single yellow, so there will be a red at the end of Rochester platforms as we've gone through the old station there, so slowly start to break. So we're not having to use hard braking. Well, Lee, that's a proper nutritious and healthy start to the day there. That's going to help your colon get moving. Do a little disco around about 11 o'clock, I'd imagine, with that. The old mid-morning shuffle, I call it. I'm a catch-up guy. Now 
Okay, so that's us safely at Rochester. Now we have got a red signal, so we will engage our driver reminder appliance for our colleague that's going to be taking over. Reverse it to neutral, and we'll unlock the doors. We'll be opening that door as well, because we are going to be getting off. So we just need to isolate our AWS. And then we need to isolate everything else, otherwise the game will throw a wobbly at us. Right, so that's us done on that job. Yep. What is it you're studying, Lee? Welcome. It's the first time in the stream that I've seen you, so welcome. Right, okay, so we've done that. Bish bash bosh. We're going to return to free roam. That's it from us. We're going to hop out. Oh, we need to just... Uh... That's it. That will trigger the AI to take over. So this is where we could cause unnecessary delays because the AI might not take this forward because I've not given it up. But I have keyed out, so fingers crossed. Oh, nice, sports. I don't know how to set a lurk command. It's not in the dashboard. Hang on. Try now. That might work, I think. <laughs> there you go. It's not actually a, a proper lurk command. I just set that up. <laughs> right. The train needs to leave. Come on. I'm not in control of this train anymore. See, this is the problem that you have when you try and do stuff like this, is that the AI doesn't jump straight in. As soon as it, re it should realise that you're no longer wanting to drive the train when you take the master key out. See, it needs to go because, oh, well, it's got until 5.28, so it makes no difference if it goes off the world late. It can just sit here until it asks me to give up control. So, right, so that's our first job done. So let us see where our next job is for and from. Right, so we have done to Rochester. We now need to do the Rochester to Raynham, and it leaves at 5.27. So it's not going to be from this platform, so we need to go down. We need to walk under the tracks. God, I need to shoot whoever laid that floor. That's, a sh that's shocking, isn't it? That little strip needs to be in the middle, or is that my OCD? Who lays a floor like that? Oh, dear. Can't get the staff nowadays. Right, so the 527 is this one here. So we have a 15-minute break now, so... We wander up here. No, we don't want to do any of these contracts. Right, we'll just pretend to sit here for a minute. A little bit of train spotting, but there's nothing to really train spot. Right, so the next service will be 2 Lima 9 1. Be interesting to know how late that train is going to leave.
could sit there all day now. But I wonder if this will have a knock-on effect for stuff we do later. Who knows? So what do I do? Well, we well we got fifteen minutes, Rogan. Hello, everybody. What do we need to do to set up set up that lurk? If you can, or is it not sort of something that would take us two seconds? Uh, let's just have a little look here. Modules. Da, da, da. No, it's not in there. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't actually see it in any of the commands here. Yeah, I see something suspicious. Um, that train hasn't gone and it's four minutes late. Obviously awaiting a member of train crew. Stuck in the queue at the McDonald's around the corner. Alright. Okay, let me get my laptop. Alright then. I can't believe the game hasn't asked me to give up control yet. So how far into your BTEC are you, uh, Lee? It's <laughs> always a bugger when you try and do one of these streams and... Uh, <laughs> You've been grasped up, Rogan. We didn't have to do it now. You could say, no, we'll do it later. Oh, dear. We didn't have to do it now. It's just that... Uh, but we've got nine minutes to kill. <laughs> oh, domestic. Everyone loves a domestic. It's still sat there. Why has the game not said, do you want to give up control of this service? Oh dear, oh dear. Well, we're just sitting here chilling, reading our copy of the, the Metro. It's going to cause a lot of problems, I think, later on. With that train being late, as we're staying in the game world for as long as we need to. It will go eventually. Quite a lot of sirens in uh, Rochester this morning. holding everything up as well but there's more trains waiting to come I oh, know he's all right where's the next train there's the the javelin coming up it's nearly at Gillingham although it has been eight minutes and the game hasn't asked me to give up control slightly worried now All right, what we can do then is
take it off world and then just spawn back in. But it'll probably tell us we can't actually sit in the seat now. Oh, it's just like the real railway this, isn't it? See, you do not have permission to drive this service. Then get it out of here. permission to drive it so I can't give up control of it because we can't drive it so it's just gonna sit there oh well it'll soon go when we can take control of the next one Nice 10 minute delay for those passengers. Not that there's many people on it, look. In fact, I don't think there's anybody on it. Nope, no one at all. Oh, our train is still on time. Nerdy no no. I just can't believe the game hasn't said, Do you want to give up control? now is that javelin train because it's not going to be stopping at right it's just left Gillingham the queue must have been really long at McDonald's for this driver to be late Is that in Cloudbot, Rogan? Or Nightbot? Which one of the many bots? I sometimes find that you have to log out and log back in again for them to appear. Oh, have you noticed that there's no high speed services at the moment? Coming out of London. Does Rainham and Gillingham services? Nothing to Faversham. So I'm wondering how we could get that train to leave on time. I'm just trying to think in my head. 
what we could have done differently in the cab to stop it from getting stuck. Good morning, JCWJ. Welcome to the stream. Right, so where is our service coming from? Is it? Uh, there it comes, just approaching Strood. Yeah, try logging out and logging back in again on the website, Rogan. I notice that sometimes gives it a kick up the bum and everything appears again. It'd be interesting to know whether that's a 375 or a 465. Yeah, that's what I mean. If you log out of the website and then log back in again, it's just the website being a bit of a numpty. It should then come back. All our trains and stations are no smoking areas. Please do not smoke until you have left the station premises. This includes e-cigarettes. Do as the woman says or she'll hunt you down, folks. Fifteen minutes of delay now for that driver to turn up for that one. Naughty driver. I wonder if we open the doors, whether it'll trigger it. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. It worked, but we're stuck on it. Let me off! Yeah. Well, that's buggered that, isn't it? We're off to Victoria, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dear. There we go. Oh. <laughs> now we've got to make sure we try and get back in time for our train. Oh, dearie me. Lovely bit of humour on the railway this morning. Right, we step over the third rail. So, yeah, the 527 is still on time. Job number two of the day. Oh, that's why it's gone. Look, the javelin's turned up. I think that's the first javelin into London for the day, that one. So we're, we've had our first break of the day. Where's our train? There it is. Train has shot off quicker than anything in the world. All right, we've got 375 back now down to Raynham. Is it we're off to now? We have to Raynham on this one. Good 
Good morning, mate. Time for you to go and get your breakfast. Yeah, off to rain. Yeah, so, DRA is not on. Just pop that in there for a second while we... down, nice bit of fresh air, alright, DRA off, reverser to forward, alright, nicely does it, away we go. the railway is back to normal so we can go into our diagram Fluorescent marker through the jobs that we've done. There we go. Right, so off to Chatham now. Doesn't look like we're going to get to drive a 465 in this day in the life of. That's a, not a problem. There'll be plenty more opportunities. OGS19, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining us. Hope you're having a good morning. Some minor delays have been caused by delayed train crew at Rochester this morning. This is a day in the life of a driver, this one. Eight hours we've got. Seven hours and 50 minutes of driving today. With various bits of pieces on it. If you want to know what we are doing, exclamation mark day. Right, we'll lock the doors. They've cut down the well times on these commuter services now. Right, 30 mile an hour until we get through the tunnel and then we're on to 50. So we get our pen out now. Stopped at Chatham, so we mark that off. If anybody does have that that up, it should be updated in real time. Oh, there goes the first 465 of the morning. Right, 
We're an eight-car train, so we'll just have to keep rolling, keep rolling. I think the back should be just coming round. Yeah, we're we're on the fifty. Well, it's a beautiful morning in Kent today. not a great morning here in Essex it's absolutely ra lashing it down with rain I should have really looked at the weather forecast before we'd started the day and see what it had been like right, coasting into Gillingham So we will be late arriving to Raynham, but we'll be leaving Raynham on time. Just coming to a stand nice and gently, looking out for the eight car board. It's just by the door of that office building. Alright, so we have green, so we don't use our DRA. Neutral, open the doors, get our highlighter out. Gillingham, Bosch, Bosch. And then the sixth, well, we're on the sixty now, so when we leave. All right, away we go. Raynham, and this is a Raynham to Charing Cross Shuttle, I believe. Right. Oh, there's another four six five. Driving with his tail lights on in the wrong direction. Well done, drive. Nice work. Cool, that's a naughty bit of track which went over then. So I'm imagining that's the one that's just come out of the shed. The one in the shed come out yet? Looks like it. Yep, he's come out the shed there, look. It's not in there anymore. It's just the 375 in there. Ooh. Not quite at the 80 board yet. the 80 board passed so these trains have a maximum speed of 100 so we're good for the 80 so how many more runs have we got let's have a look at our schedule so we've got two Lima 06 after this one with this particular service that we're on here And then we've got a Gravesend to Raynham, 2 Lima 01. 
And then we have passenger for a little while. Up to up to St Pancras to do our uh, two high speed runs in the diagram. So yeah, we're uh, not out of the woods for the 465 just yet. Well, not out of the woods, I really want to drive one. but Alright, we've got the single yellow signal ahead. It should have a zero above it to say that we're going into platform zero at Raynham. too fast for this junction. It's alright though. It's okay. We've stayed on the rails. Right. So here we go. car train so we need to go as close to the buffers as possible I should really look I didn't need to look at that I've got that there to set our DRA, that to neutral, brakes to level 3, turn off our headlights, and we'll set that when we get to the other end. doors. That's that service completed. Lovely jubbly. Another one to highlight there. Right, okay. Boom, 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 boom. And now we've got the change ends and then mobilise the train again. So, return to free roam. Stand up. Turn all of these off. Otherwise, we won't be able to take power at the other end. Oh, we didn't take the master key out, did we? Ah, I'm stuck. is we walk through the train to make sure that no bags or items have been left. So we just walk along the train. Like I said, it's a day in the life of a driver, folks. So that's, that's the gangway between the two trains there. So we're now in the front portion of the train. driving cab. So we need to open that door, step in, open the partition door, close that door. Just 
turn that on. That on. That on. Open the windows. Take our seat. Master key in. DRA on as we have a red signal ahead of us. There we go. Just check that that is data running. Yep, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Right. Okay. And then we just need to set our PIS. But I am going to be right back. Cooler nature time. While we have a little break before the next service. And I'm back. Thank you very much for the follow, DJ. Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Right, so we're just waiting now for six o'clock. Um, we've mobilised the train. It is a Cannon Street service. So it's going back into London. We're going to take it to Gravesend, where we will jump off and then have a, another trip back to here, I believe it is. Oops, so we've done these two bits. On the thing, so that's all that done. Yep, so we've got Gillingham, Chatham, Rochester, Higham. Oh, sorry, Gillingham, Chatham, Rochester, Strood, Higham and Gravesend. There we go, another javelin taking everybody off on the high speed. So it looks like the way that you get the train to hand itself back is leave the door open on the cab. 
by all accounts, don't close it. But we'll have to see. Enjoying this. I don't think they do. Empty words. So, da da da. Oh, he's got a long dwell time. It's nice to see that they've uh, changed how long the javelins sit in the stations for. Absolute ages. Although its stopping point is wrong, look. Oh no, it's in the station. Wow, how long is he going to wait for? He is aware he has a green signal. to solve this let's see on the PIS Tintin welcome to the stream thank you for the follow all good you join us in a join us for a day in the life of a southeastern driver so we are doing seven hours and 50 minutes um, of streaming on this route today we've already been going for a little while we've done a depot run been up to Rochester, caused havoc on the network because the driver didn't show up on time. This train seems to not want to leave for whatever reason. So, yeah. That London Victoria service isn't this one. So, I'm guessing that 549 folks was the first train that we took off. It was supposed to come back into the map, so that's now running 15 minutes late. Unless something's gone wrong, and this is the well, this must be the 552 to St Pancras. So, where on earth did the 549 go? Because we've been sat here and that hasn't come past us. It's all gone, it's all gone squiffy. Because that train's been here an age, so maybe that's the 549 as well. Maybe it's going to split. How's yourself, Tintin? You alright? You all good? I think the PIS is stuck. There another oh wow now how much do you want to bet that that service was at Newington uh, yes Tintin I am going to pick it up yeah so how much do you want to bet this service actually went in at Newington and the signaller has run the javelin in front 
of that one. Wow. <laughs> I'd have the ump. If I was the driver of this train, I'd have the raging ump. Wouldn't you? He's held this train because it's slower than the javelin. On the loop. Had the javelin in in front of this one. Wow, Signa's, Signa's ballsy. <laughs> Created a three minute delay with this one. But yeah, I'm picking it up tonight, Tintin. Um, as it's out at midnight, I'll uh, be grabbing it and doing a little cheeky re stream tonight with it. Um, have you played Great Western um, since yesterday? When the patch dropped for it. Oh, they updated Great Western Railway yesterday and they've uprated all the textures and it's had a load of optimization work done to it because in theory they have made it train sim world 2 haven't they so everything's had a little bit of a spit and a polish now I'm, I'm slightly flabbergasted by that signal putting that javelin in front of that stopping train Yeah, it, it, it makes a massive difference. Which console do you play on a PS5 or a PS4? I can't remember. Because I obviously only play it on Xbox. And I noticed a massive difference yesterday on Great Western Railway while, while playing it. Now, I'm not excited for tomorrow's pack. Good morning, Ollie. Um... It's much of a muchness. It, it it scratches an itch for some people that might not have the the rolling stock and everything. But I think fourteen. I personally think fourteen ninety nine is a little bit steep for what it in theory is. If you own everything, they should have done two versions of it. If you don't own any own anything, fourteen ninety nine. If you own bits and pieces, nine ninety nine. But, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? Right, so we are due to start at 6 o'clock. Let's unlock our doors so that passengers can start to load nice and early. And I also find, Tintin, that the way that Dovetail Games deals with their partner's key releasing things, if you want to try and get access to stuff early, is an absolute shocker. But we can only do what we can do. So yeah, it'll be another midnight purchase. I get that it's a lot of work to do two different types of pack or something like that, but you've got the preserved collection and you managed to sort it out that it did things with the game. So, And if you did end up buying the wrong version, 
Yeah, yet yeah, Sharky seems to get everything. Like he got a southeastern high speed key, didn't he, off of them? And the 465, I think. Well, no, he didn't get the 465 because I don't have console keys on key mailer at the moment for that. But yeah, I've had stuff in. Even though that's where they told me to go and that they'd let me know. Because. I am one of the only Xbox streamers, so no, no, he does it exactly the same way that I, we, me, and you do it through Keymail. I've got direct contacts at DTG, but they sent me to Keymailer, so. But yeah, that's where they told me to go, and then not add anything at all not a peep so yeah I'm the only Xbox streamer on a regular basis that streams this so oh trampoline next to the outhouse right coming up to departure times now I think the reason why I'm not getting anything is I'm not verified yet. Keymailer still hasn't verified me. It's been nearly two months, so... So I've kind of given up. Right, so we now have the signal, so we can take our DRA off. We've activated all our safety systems. Have we done our lights? Yes, we've done our lights. Front lights and back lights are on. How long did it take you to get verified, Tintin? Are into forward. Ah, right, okay, I'm still building up my YouTube. Right, let's close those doors. It's a fair old whack of subscribers on YouTube. Well done, mate. Schedule page. Yeah, so this is two Lima O six, which matches our schedule. Right, fifteen mile an hour out of here. Away we go. to Gillingham. the signal and then it's 60 straight away or is it 80 no it's 60 isn't it or is it 80 it says 90 there well, I don't know uh, he is currently on the very website I believe trying to snag himself a PS5 
the main line now, so we can accelerate up to 90. Seven three eight flyer, thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Right, Gillingham platform two. Oh, I do miss the the sounds of the four six five. So that we have to do with the three seven five at the moment. It's not the same. AWS, oh, I can't remember if it's a three stage, no, it's a two stage banner repeater there. Sixty mile an hour is coming up. Always want to be aiming to be at your next speed warning before you get or the next speed signal before you get there folks so we're at 60 way before we're actually supposed to be but it's defensive driving because we don't want to be uh, speeding through the, the signals it'd be a bit like a Bakerloo line if you did All right so we got another 60 driver to one of our colleagues taking one through the train wash. Right, let's get the brakes in, slowly start to slow ourselves down. ridiculous Rogan they must be like, like getting hundreds instead of thousands to neutral no need for the DRA because we do have a green signal now I'm, I'm surprised that those websites haven't put in measures to counteract the bots because it should be able to tell you right radar good morning by the fact that they process it so quickly. go 60 miles an hour now the interesting thing was did that hear yeah, that 465 has just gone speeding through so I wonder if that's an empty coaching stop to rain them
Right, so we've got our 50 and our 30 coming up. So that's our 50. So we'll just bring that and just coast. Slightly unrealistic timings on the between the Rainham, Gillingham and Chatham. No, I didn't stream in the middle of the night last night. I went to bed very early last night. I say very early, it was about half eleven, which is early for me. it brake release 30 mile an hour oh it's probably because the video that I uploaded of last night's stream probably finished processing then at 3 o'clock in the morning or whatever it was and the video actually went live because you know what YouTube's like for taking forever to process stuff Right, here we go, coming into Chatham. We're a minute late, I don't know how we've lost a minute. We only left Raynham a moment ago. So we can now cross those two off of our schedule. Gillingham and Chatham. They are done. Keep our eyes on the doors locking. Lock those doors. Reverse it to forward. And away we go. Have a good day, Willow. See you next time, Eddie. Like I say, we'll be on later on, so you might catch us when you finish work. The Shaky Coda, good morning. Ah, excellent. Well, like we say, we're in for the long haul today. Ooh. Got a couple more of these commuter runs, and then we're on the high speed stuff for a couple of hours. Like, I, like I've said before, if you type exclamation mark day, you'll see what the schedule is for the remaining part of our day in the life of a southeastern driver. And there's a fair old lot of it. At least we won't be getting the train stuck at this station this time round. Yeah, so that 465 that went 
barreling through. Must have been the empty coaching stock that goes down to Raynham. Yeah, there it is. So we may be lucky and get to drive a 465 on our diagram today. Not so sure though. There we go, Rochester marked off. We're just stopping here now. So we are now off to Strood for the first time today. So we're going to be posture trekking a stretch. Thank you very much, Kaleidoscope. Uh, it's nothing like the real thing, Tintin. It's, um, shall we say, massively underpowered and the brakes don't work properly. I've made them aware and they said they're looking into it. But, uh, yeah, it, the, the powering's all off. The weight of the 66 itself's all off. I think somebody's put an extra zero on the end of the 127 tonnes that it's supposed to weigh. So that it, in theory, weighs over 1,000 tonnes. So you don't really get the acceleration. Right, off to Strood we go. Got the 20 mile an hour at the end of the bridge. At the moment we're on 30, so we'll... Get up to 30 as quickly as possible. And then drop it to 20. And then 15 on the curve as we approach the junction at Strood. But yeah, it, it, it has its issues, um, Tintin. And they only came in when they introduced the new diesel power simugraph thing. So, uh, somebody just needs to look at the numbers. The controls and everything are accurate. Like the cabs are accurate. It just doesn't have a NRN in it anymore. It's got a GS. They've all got GSMRs. So it just needs updating with the NRN taking out and the GS GSMR adding. Right. So we're just coming around the curve now into Strood. Join the North Kent line. Oh, it's a Charing Cross service. We're on, not a, a Cannon Street. Let me catch up with that. Let me come to a stand and we'll uh, answer those questions, Tintin. Just one moment, please. Right. Okay. Are we stopping at Hyam? Yes, we are a Hyam service this morning. I hope we get GSMR in the future. I know TSA. Yes, yes. Forgive my ignorance, that's the thing where you input the signal you are at, etc. Yes, so GSMR is, um, or you're referring to NRN. Oh, 
Hello, Mr. 66. <laughs> you have fallen to the dark side of the yin yin. Right, let's get our doors locked. We have a green signal. So reverse it to forward. Gently power away. Uh, they shouldn't be putting their starting signal in Tintin on the GSMR. So, when you, if you had a working um, GSMR, what you, when you put your master key in and you'd set your cab up and everything, what you would do is you would push that button there. You then type in your head code like a good old-fashioned Nokia. 3310 um, and then you were you'd do your four digit head code and then it would ask you for three digits um, which is your signal like to locate where you are um, and every area has a GSMR logon point um, if you don't know what it is you just use 998 or 999 and then you let the system figure it out for you Right, 70 mile an hour now. Um, and then what would happen, it would come up with GSMR, GB. Uh, you'd have your head code there. And then um, when you got to a red signal, you would push the SG button, which is contact signal to ask them why you're held. And if you're held at a red for, for no particular reason, the signal will then call you and sort of explain what's going on or well, they're supposed to and you're supposed to hit the SG button within two minutes now of being stood at a red signal it used to be five minutes but now it's two minutes um, but it's just like a mobile phone if you need to contact the signal in an urgent manner without bringing the railway to a stop you would hit the yellow button there and then if you've got an emergency call, you lift that flap and bang that red button, which will then stop all trains in the area. Oh, going far, too fast. Yes, it would be. Um, I don't know why they didn't do it, because it would, review, it would stop you having to bring up that to contact the signaler. You could just, you could just go over to there and just go bang the SG button, just push the SG button, doop, and then the signaler would put wait there if you had to to wait for the the signal to change. <laughs> you have to put a hyphen between the M and the R radar and then put UK and it should give you an explanation. Right, we are an eight car train, so we're not going to stop where the board is telling us to. Because otherwise the rear of our train won't be in the platform. So we will be going up to the 10 and 12 car stop board. really need to work on my braking distances in this 375. I was the same last night in 377. Yeah, I'll quickly just mark off on the those two as we've stopped there. If you want to know more about the 
the GSMR system and how it works. There you go. It's not just in the UK, it's all over Europe, I believe. Um, I believe it was in Germany and all sorts. China, Australia, India. But yeah, everything you need is just there on that link. Alright, let's lock the doors. Reverse her back to forward. Alright, now we've got a little run up to Gravesend. Alright, so how long have we got? 6.42. Okay, we've got a few minutes at Gravesend before the next train down to Rainham again. So. I'm still amazed that that signaller put that javelin in front of that stopping service at Rainham. It's boggled my mind, that has. Something so simple in the real world, and the game has managed to replicate it really well. Right, so we're coming up to Who Junction now. which is the line speed this will board by the heart <laughs> Radar, you <laughs> clown. <laughs> Granite state management. <laughs> Resources. Oh, gee whiz. Two and a bit miles now to Gravesend. Quite liking all these rush hour trains. This is good fun, this. Hope the viewing's okay. I believe this is a speed restriction board for the 50. Yes. Alright, so. Just gently par brakes in. So we've got 50 30 again in uh, Gravesend. Your internet taking a dump again, Ollie. Welcome back. Right, that's notification for the thirty. Two yellow signals. Ah, college stuff.
<laughs> Good old Microsoft Teams. All right, we've got a single yellow, so the signaler is stopping us short of Gravesend. For whatever reason. There's a phantom train, obviously, in Gravesend. Oh, the signal's at the end of the platform. What am I talking about? Yeah, you missed it earlier, Ollie. The signaler actually did a clever bit of signalling in the game. When we were at Raynham, there was a stopping service to London Victoria that had called at Newington, and it had held the stopping service at Newington and brought the javelin past it. It completely threw the PIS system out, but the javelin went off on its merry way on time and the signal had delayed the Victoria service. Right. PRA on. Right, we just need to turn these safety systems off, otherwise the game's gonna throw a hissy fit at us. When we take over the next one. <laughs> yeah, you run early and then get put in front of something. Alright, hopefully this train won't spend an age waiting to depart like the the last one did at Rochester. Right, let's lock the doors. Right, that's the objective complete. So, yep. Return to free roam. Please exit the vehicle, which we have done. Close the door, open the door. Well, we'll leave that open and hopefully it'll trigger it. Yeah, we've we've exited the vehicle. Now somebody said that there was a tip on the forums for how to to get these trains to bugger off on time. I can't remember what they said you do. Anyway, right, as we've got a few minutes to kill, I am just going to go and make another call of nature because the next bit's a little bit intense. So I will be right back, folks.
Right, I'm back. Okay, let's unpause that. Right, anyway, let's get over to the next platform for our next service. See if we can trigger it to go. What time is it due to leave? Well, it already thinks it's left, so it's weird. Yes. Well, at least it asked us early doors then. goes. Right, anyway, we need to, because this is our next one. Just there. So we've done that service. We can cross that off our list. Right, so platform two, 6.42. So we have got a few minutes to kill. So Q&A time. Ooh, where are we? There we go. So ask away, any questions you got? All yours. Hoping for a 465 for the next drive, though. Not going to lie. See, what would have been nice is if they'd have... Um, just here. Just given us a little bit more to go up to Dartford. Just off that little bit there. Five stations along that bit there to Dartford. Would have been a nice bit of commuter driving. Oh, I have no idea. Okay, so a 5040 sign. Great question, Shaky Coder. So, um, let's just... Um, Uh, I'll answer Tinted and then I'll come back to yours, Coda. I didn't see yesterday's roadmap, Tintin, but uh, my sources inform me that it, it will be a smart delivery type next-gen upgrade. Um, so we will get the option, yeah. Uh, speed signage. So a 50 over 40 board, um, you'll see um, many different, uh, let's just save that image, two seconds guys, while I just do this, quickly try and do this. So what uh, the shaky coder is referring to is... Bear with me while I just add it to the scene so you, you can see. Right. So, he's referring to these boards. Okay. So, that there is uh, a notification that there are two different speed limits on the track ahead for different types of trains. So the bottom number is passenger trains, class one, class two, class three, and class nines, um, which means they can run at 45 mile an hour or whatever the speed is. The top, oh, and class five trains can run at the bottom one as well. Um, but then what the top speed is, is notifications for freight um, and what freight can do. So that's a class four, Class 6, Class 7, Class 8. Um, although a Class 8 uh, can't go 30 miles an hour. But, yeah. 
So that's what that means, Coda, is that you've got two different speed limits for the different types of trains that are running. Make sense? But yes, Tintin, I do think we'll have a next-gen upgrade. And I think it's going to come a lot sooner than people think. I think it's going to be... I think you've got the the up the, the core updates, the Steam optimization, like the, the optimizations for memory. You're going to get those. But I think you're also going to get the the optimization and the, the update at the same time. Well, then it... Then it yeah. It, there's no point them pay us paying for a next-gen update in all fairness when it's the, th the same game and the way that they can deliver it smartly so it would make sense for it to be free but then again it could be a multiplayer update who knows I mean, it could be that they're introducing finally multiplayer which would be nice I'd quite like to play the signaler Have like where you can just float around the map and fly around the map, but you like this one. But I have to set all your your signals for you, and if I want to hold you, I'll hold you. But that you would need the active GSMR for that, so that players could punch the SG button. That was yesterday, Ollie. That's right. Yeah. Right. So we've got. A couple of minutes to wait so let's see where our train is if it's appearing on the map yet nope so our train is still not coming off the, the North Fleet branch at the moment so it is going to appear from that portal there so could be one we've already had today we've got a couple of minutes but it's a it's an all station stopper to Gillingham uh, oh no to Raynham so we can't stop at every every service on the way down which should be fun. It's eight coaches, so it's probably going to be a 375 again. Although we may get lucky and then get a 465. <laughs> no, I don't think you'd have ticket inspector. I think you'll have driver mode guard mode and signaler mode i think you'll have those three modes if they do do multiplayer because obviously the arosa line for anybody that's been watching the, the sort of preview stuff on that is that it includes the guard mode there there is you have to do the guard signal um to be able to depart and stuff so you you could have that you got your bell codes they're already installed on all the units and stuff so and then have some sort of signaling or signaler mode I don't think you need to to get much more complicated than driver guard and signaler. I don't think you need to to be doing that, but I do think it needs to be running in timetable mode on dedicated hardware that users can rent. Yeah, tickets is is not required. It'd be ended up like bus sim to be fair. That's the only way you're going to actively get um doing tickets is it and it that that'll cheapen it in my opinion because how many times do you get a ticket inspector on a train nowadays it's all barriers isn't it and the only time you you tend to have to worry about the train manager coming through is on intercity services that call it stations without barriers so again it's it's much of a muchness but I, I don't think um, I don't think ticket inspectors are valid. Oh, three seven five again. It's not been our. 
Um, oh, wrong stop. Right, go and get your breakfast, thank you. Cheers, Tar, very much. Oh, wow. Okay, you've done that, have you? Radio. Only do you arrive late. It then makes us set the whole damn train up again. Right. Reverse to forward. We've got the signal. DRA off. Go high em. So 30 miles an hour here now as we move forward. Well, I think one of the routes is West Coast Mainline South Tintin that they're developing. So I think you will see it. go to Haim. Can't remember if we're on a 50 or a 30 here. We'll play it safe, we'll go to 30. Seventy is on the curve though, I know that, just in a moment around the curve at the main aspect signal, not the banner repeater. Whoops. We've driven this train before. <laughs> this is the train that we just drove. So when we get to the next station, we're going to have to set it up properly. Because our rear lights aren't on and our PIS isn't set. So we can set the PIS. But the doors at the rear end are open on the cab because we left them open and the AI didn't shut them. through the other coach, which is a shame. So we will have to wait until we get to to Higham. You should be able to, Ollie, yeah. It's not been announced yet, but I've got a funny feeling West Coast Mainline South is going to be a TSW route. Merely speculation, so please don't quote me on that. Oh, how are we doing here? We're at 70, yeah, we're just cruising along.
Right, here we go, Who Junction. Whistleboard, oh no. Oh. Well, they've just got to wait for the release of Clinchfield and the Rosa line before they announce it, like the rest of it, because they're still this year's, aren't they? As there's been quite a few delays to some of the stuff they were planning on releasing. Right. There we go. On our way now, on our final approach to Heim. Two and a half hours has flown by so far. It's ironic though that it went off the map and came straight back on and is our, our train back to Raynham. We brought it out of Raynham, we're taking it back to Raynham. Reverser into neutral, brakes to level 3. It's a race against time. We're going to be late leaving rain or uh, leaving Hyam. We're already late, but. Could at least set this up for me, love. What's she doing sat in the back there? Oh, there's another door open, isn't there? It's not just that one, I don't think. Is it the one at the end there? Good morning, Pine. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we're just trying to find this open door. I think it's this one here. Right. Oh, did I open the one at this end? On the four. Yeah, there it is. No. Nah, it's all right. I've got my boots on. Doors are now closed, locked and secured. Sorry for the delay to your journey, ladies and gentlemen. Just had to make sure that we are now displaying reds on the rear. Oh, right. Let's focus back on what we were doing. 70 mile an hour towards Strood now. 
How are you today, Pint? You alright? So fingers crossed we don't miss our passenger ride to St Pancras. Because we have got to be at Raynham for 7.15. Might be cutting it a bit fine, but we're passengering back. Could have done without that, to be brutally honest. So what's this one? Two Lima O one. What's our right time arrival? If we were on time, what would our right time arrival be? Oh, we have nine minutes to play with, so. Notification for the 15 mile an hour at the end of the tunnel. Apply plenty of brake. Community challenge 50% complete. Thanks very much, Ollie. Oh look, another 465, so we've we've done well to avoid the 465 today. Oh, slightly speeding around this curve. Never mind. It's ridiculous it doesn't need to be 15 mile an hour to be fair, you could get round there at about 20. Goes back to the day of the old slam doors that used to uh, want waddle around. Olaf, uh, yeah, we've been pretty good. We've um, we've witnessed some signalling anomalies for the better. Um, we've seen trains delayed by 15 minutes at Rochester because the game couldn't figure out that we didn't want to drive it anymore. But uh, yeah, we haven't missed a train. We've not been late to any destination where we've been relieving somebody. So yeah, we're. We're all good. Just been 375s all morning. Sadly. I haven't had the, the pleasure of a 465 yet. Seen plenty of them in the game though. And we just had an, um, uh, an issue at Highham just a moment ago where we needed to uh, check the doors. Um, but if we go to the rear of the train. There is a member of staff passing to Raynham, who's obviously going to be taking this train out because we're passing to St Pancras. Have you amended the diagram at all? Nope. That is the one I sent you um, for timings wise. The only thing that's changed is I changed which rolling stock would it would be because the 465 is randomly placed in. All right. Away we go. So we're 15 mile an hour until the rear of the train comes round the curve. So yeah, the the first service of the day that we took to Rochester was sat there for 20 minutes, I think, before the game decided it was going to move it because it had a javelin up its backside. But when we were waiting to leave Raynham, uh, a javelin turned up out of sequence and it 
and the signaller had um, put it out in front of us. Or not out in front of us, but out in front of the stopping service. Which then ran late because it had to wait for the the javelin to clear off that was running right time. It was pretty good to be fair. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Right, now we're running late again, so we have got to wait for this eight car Victoria service to get out of our way. So hopefully we make our connection at Raynham. Because that's my chance to get some food. <laughs> All right, there's our red ahead. All right, Tintin, see you in a bit, my man. Take care. Uh, there's been no wibble that I've seen. All right, so what we will do is we will fly into... So we'll see if we can fly into Rochester and see the PIS and see what time that train's getting out our way. So that's the... Oh my word. That's the train that left the map late. Oh, my word. Look, it's come back in how late it left Rochester. So that's gone off to Victoria and come back. But that's the first train that we had of the day. There is some delays building on the service now. <laughs> so when does it leave? Because look, we're... There's all sorts of delays going on now, look. The first one's late. Hasn't has it arrived? Has it not arrived? The second and the third ones are all delayed. So how can you have two trains in the same spot at the same time? I think the game may be about to break here. Because this train needs to go. Where's it going to? It's terminating here at Rochester, but now it can't go anywhere. Because I'm waiting there, unless it goes back over that crossover. Oh, we may have to amend the diagram now. But again, this is where the game should be using Platform 3. Because if I do this, I am going to be told to wait for signal to change. But if this was, if one of you guys was being my signaller now, you could set me into platform three to go round that service that's not moving. Because we have the feather there, which would put you into platform three. You then have the the theatre box there with three, but that's only for that signal. But I know for a fact that if that was to, to go on, that three had come on just to let you know that you were going in there. But we I don't think we're going anywhere. We're not going to be able to to get to... Uh, to St Pancras for the the next part of our diagram now the game has actually come to a standstill
what they were standing at. Uh, Echo Kilo 4051. Why would he give us a... Why would there be a line block on Platform 3? I didn't break the game. The game broke itself by letting that train leave ridiculously late. We were off of it right time. We It just sat there, not doing anything. Yeah, but that would be on Platform 1. That the, You'd take the line block on Platform 1 because... Platform 3, you'd be able to leave that operational. Oh, can't go that far with that camera. Let's get in this one. Because it would be the adjacent running line. So platform 3 is bi-directional. So if that train had failed. Line block would be taken there. And then you just do single line working on this permissive platform. Well that's how I'd work. If I was the signaler that's how I'd do it. Because you've got that platform there that's. That's isolating everything. But because the game won't automatically change the platform for us on the fly, everything going county bound now is going to be broken because timings are all out. And the only thing I can think we could do. Get our boots on, go for a walk. Oh, and everything was going so well. But that is the train that literally these delays are caused by our train going off world 20 minutes late. And then coming back in 20 minutes late. So it's going to Gillingham. So in theory we could... Oh, it says Rochester on there, but... Again, terminating services going up platform 3 here. Right, well, we've missed the, the high-speed part, the first high-speed part, because we've got a red signal at the end of the platform, so I don't know whether that's because the signal doesn't know what to do. Oh dear. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense, the, the platforming here, to be fair. Right, this is weird. Why is this on platform 2? No, so we cannot... Physically do anything. Right, we'll give up that. Maybe the game that will trigger the game to. Right, let's see if we can now. No, we don't have permission to drive. Olaf, could you prepare a 66? The Delna coupling's in the hut. <laughs> Gonna have to rescue this 375.
what are we supposed to do? Because anything now that this train is not going to move. It has literally just come off the flyover though from Victoria. So I'm wondering at what point the game goes, I need to move these, I need to move this. So all we can do is stand around and wait for the high speed service to come up. And we'll hop on that and go. We're passing up anyway, so. What do you mean, press A for? Huh? So, note to self, in future, if you do do a train that terminates at Rochester, take it off map and load back in. Oh, they're for, um, yeah, they're scenario prompts. I've turned off the markers for them because I don't like having the blue, the blue bits floating around. Now, 0710, right. Is there... Right, here comes the 0710 to Victoria. Then we've got the Charing Cross service behind that. And then we've got the Victoria... That's the 729 is the one that we've got to wait for. That's our pass right up. Yeah, so that was a scenario. That's a scenario. That would load us off into a different environment, different world. Right, so what I'm actually going to do, guys, is I'm going to... I'm going to fix this, all right? So... What time do we need to... Oh, that's, all, that's inconvenient. Close those doors or these doors? Oh, these doors. Whoops, Daisy. Right, we'll fix this slight glitch in the matrix. Right, what train was ours? 0655, wasn't it? Right, so what we'll do is we'll quickly just reset the game world. Because that's clearly broken. <laughs> Put the cloud back in. All right. Rochester. Right. Cool. My tummy's getting empty. Right. We're on the right platform. The world has been reset. And there you go, there's our Rainham service. How peculiar that that one late running service that we did at the start of the day just brought everything grinding to a halt. At least we're back and ready to rock and roll with our service. Here it comes. Right. Better get up to the eight car stop board. So you mean that, Ollie?
yeah, so that's to load into the scenario mode. Right, so 6.55. Right, I just need to make a note of the timestamp for... those errors so that we can send them over to DTG so that they can at least let us know how to fix it when it happens or if there is a workaround but like I say they're, they're dynamically platform 3 at Rochester would have been a great solution to the problem then and imagine it triggered an announcement on the platform this is a platform alteration the 655 Rainham service will now depart from platform number three. But that's why we need signaler mode so that you guys could be signalers while we're doing this. I'm the driver, you one of you's the signaler. Morning! Nice to see you. Oh right. Could you send it to me, Ollie, or at least let me know what it is so that we could add something like that into the stream? It's probably the actual blooming software that they use in the stations. Well, while we're waiting, cheers, mate. Big question is, what are we going to get? Are we going to get a 465 for a little jaunt to Raynham, or are we going to get a 375? We'll find out soon. <laughs> Finally realised that the train stopped way up there. You're going to have to run. If you want that train, you're going to have to run. Because it's not going to wait around forever. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right, well, we need to cross strewed off of our list now. We'll get our little green marker pen back out on that document. Exclamation mark day in the chat. We'll give you the link so that you can see. Uh, yeah, one second. There you go. Right, come on. Where's our train? See, even on the timetable, it's going to be late. I'm going to put my money on it being a 375. Kingoli1006, thank you very much for the follow, much appreciated, welcome to the stream. You probably have been lurking for some time, but uh, 
Hello? Yes! Yes! Can you feel the power of the 465? Right. Oh, it's an accurate representation of me driving the Baphead. George Dawes. All right, mate. Yeah, sorry. This is my train. Jog on. Bye bye. See you later. Right there we go. Signal is green, so we don't need our DRA. Lights are all on. Everything is good. Window down. Lock the doors. Right. <laughs> it's a crap set. Brakes isolate. Well, actually, funny you should say that. You do have the ability to turn certain stuff off. Here. Right, so at least we're going to be at Raynham now for our train. Do we want regen braking on, or do we want to use the air brakes? Because that white light means we don't have our regen braking on. we put regen braking on and go back to that the light goes out although we don't have anything on our PIS system that's handy but it's automatically set so we've got no control over that believe the game's made us late. It's so good the brakes on this 465. Take a little bit of power. Right, reverse it to neutral. PIS working on the rear screen. Yes, so we have a failed PIS on the front of our train. Blooming typical. Right, let's lock those doors. Those sounds are absolutely epic. Alright, we've done Rochester and Chatham. Let me mark those off now. Oh, 
Oh dear. Can't believe we broke the game. Seriously can't believe it. Check the horns working. So I think you can break 30 at about 400 yards and come to a stand on your marker. With a 4.65. We will just make sure and have a little look. No, I think you'd stop short. I think you could stop at 200 yards. Put the brakes on at 200 yards and still come to a stand. I must say, though, I don't know if you guys are feeling the same, but this route feels exceptionally busy. Like, while we've been doing this day in a life of the driver type thing, it really feels busy. Like, there's always been trains about. And right. oh, we're a bit short there, but we're in the platform. Welcome back, Rogan. I don't know if you're here for when we the game broke. So you know the first train that we took out um, that got delayed leaving. Ah, awesome. Where did you get it from? All oh, right, they got some more in. Look, there's a 465. There's plenty of 465s knocking about. But yeah, anyway, the first train that we took out that got delayed at Rochester where the game didn't take control of it caused absolute carnage at Rochester when we got back there. Oh, nice. Did you get the digital version or the disc version? Yeah, it absolutely. We had to restart the game. Well, we had to restart the map to clear all the trains away. At least we got the 465 for the final. final little short trip Throttle. 
to 75. destination for this service. Two yellows breaks in. Single yellow. Should have the zero above it. Yeah, there we go. 25 mile an hour for the junction. So for those of you that are keeping track of numbers, 465903 on the front and 922 on the rear. Right, approaching the buffers now, two minutes late. So this is the final drive of the commuter stock because we are now going to be waiting on platform one for the 715 Raynham to London St Pancras service where we will be seen as a passenger. Alright, we'll start our immobilisation procedure. So that's that job done. Oh, oh fiddlesticks. Didn't mean to do that. So I've got Oh, fiddlesticks. So we were a couple of minutes late, weren't we? So spawn back in at seven o'clock. Right, so there we go. We're going to 
be waiting. As that 465 is going out as... I'm confused. Oh well. Right, I shall be right back, folks. But I will leave you with this screen. Right, I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. Oh. Right. Yes. Ollie in the garden. Thrash. Right, so where is our 395 that we are going to be passengering on? It's 11 minutes away. It's probably not even left Faversham yet. There it is. So yeah, when we were here earlier, The Victoria service got put behind 
the St Pancras service even though it was booked in front of it. It was quite clever to be fair. I was mightily impressed by the signaller. But yeah, the, the Great Eastern Main Line is way out in trains in world. Yeah, so the person that did the sounds in TSW2 for the HST and the 166 did the sounds for the 465. A little bit of useless information for you there. Alright, so as we are now passing for a little while. Put a little bit of music on in the background. So yeah, the next drive in game time is not until 8.20. So we've got an hour of just chilling. So that must be the 8 car that we would have brought in. Seven oh six. yep, yeah, that's... Ah, uh, yes, yeah, I was, I've spawned in a little bit. So the four car left and I'm quite liking this day in the life thing, it works well. Is that music too loud guys or is it uh just the right volume? So yes, so it it literally so what happened, Olaf, is we brought a service into Raynham, like at one there, and we were waiting around for the next turn of service, and this javelin was just sat in the platform for ages, and the PIS literally said St Pancras service was coming in. And then you just watch the London Victoria service getting later and later. And then as soon as the javelin left, the Victoria service came in. But it looks like it, the signaller held held the, the service on the, the avoiding line. So. So where is our javelin at the moment? Oh, it's at Sittingbourne. So yes, we it, yeah, it was just really sort of took us back a bit because we were like, why is this train sat here for so long? And it's because the signaller had run it early to get it in front of the stopping service. So it then waited right time at Raynham and then did, drove off, but then made the Victoria service behind it late, which then had, had a knock-on effect Uh, just that I know Rogan I know where I am and then I know which the stations going backwards or forwards from where I am but that's root knowledge but yeah but because the signaller held that stopping service it then caused that carnage that you saw at uh, Rochester just then because we were late taking a train out and then another train was late going so it completely broke everything Right. Oh. Oops, a daisy. Break everything on my desk. The your safety and comfort, this station operates a no smoking policy. 
This is supposed to be pop music. Chilly DM by the sounds of it. See what this is. See if this is any different. So let's see where we. The equivalent of looking on real time trains. Right, it's on its way. Newington. Then we were at Raynham. So the way that we're going to do it is we're going to sit at the back of the the unit because we need to be at the front when it gets to St Pancras, which we'll is cheat a little bit. So we haven't got a lot of walking to do. What we got on? Oh, low res, nice low res textures. Oh, it's got no card machine. I don't carry cash in COVID times. Oh well. Go without. Oh, that's a. Let's have a read this email. Replying to uh, right here it comes. Here comes our little passenger ride. Blimmin' hell, Ollie. Could have just zipped it up and I could have uncompressed the zip file. Right, here we go. Get off because everybody weighs a thousand tons. Right, this, uh, yeah, we want that seat there, please. There we go. Right. Ah. Yeah, it would have been much easier for you to have zipped it and sent it, mate. Rogan, what have you sent me? Let's have a look. Where's my phone? We. Between 
Oh, right, okay, cool. I'll have a look at that after stream. Well, to be fair, I could do it while we're on stream, couldn't I? There we go. We are now passenger. It's going to be weird. This is the first time I've done this on southeastern high speed. Uh, yes, I have, Ollie. Yeah. Two seconds, guys. Right, okay, I'm back. Oh, so yes. Where were we? What were we discussing? As we are travelling on the passengers.
as we leave Gillingham. Okie dokie Ollie, thank you very much. I shall have a look at that uh, once we finish. So what's everybody got planned for this afternoon? Anybody got anything exciting going on? me all oh, right well don't mind me I'm just having me sandwiches <laughs> the only problem is is that it'll all look a little bit wally because when I move the camera they, they move <laughs> the camera moves but they sort of stay where they are Just wondering if I. Oh no. Oh, work coder, that's not good. Well, at least you can chill with this on, have this on in the background and chill with us. <clears throat> well, Olaf's driving this train, he, he's taking us to Zoom Pancreas. So the only thing I can do is do this, do that. We go outside the train. We go back. And I can put them back on the table. How does that... What happens if we go... Oh, they back there now. Uh, no, this is Chatham. Well, we look like we're running in sync, kind of, here in the game. You're arriving where we're getting to at the same time. We're waiting for Olaf to take us out and up to St Pancras.
Why can you never find a shot that you want for something when you're searching YouTube in, or Google for images and you can never find the image you want? Or in the right size that you want? It's, it's never that easy, is it? Maybe if it, we search for this, it might give us a little bit more, a few more options. No, not even that is giving us options. That's a shame. Right through the old Rochester platforms. What size is this image? No, that's not big enough. What I'm trying to do, guys, is I'm trying to find a side-on shot of the javelin. And I was going to put my face in the window instead of it being a 465. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm on my P&B, mate. I'm on, on the cushions. P&B on the cushions. Can't you see? I've got my me, me sandwich and my Coke on the table. I'm not leaving that. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe if I sit in this seat though I can get a better... Oh yeah, that's better. That's a bit better, isn't it? A bit more to scale. No, no, I didn't hear that. Oh, I didn't hear about that. That's a bit naughty. Sandwich and Coke on the screen. Looks we've got a bit of a better angle now to, to look out of the train. Oh, hey. Move that Coke bottle again. I think the ideas that go on in my head where we're streaming, like a bottle of Coke and a sandwich on the table. Oh, also, we need to make it authentic as well. Right. 
we're going to take up this whole table, I think. Get it fully. There we go. Champion. Right, I'll be right back, folks. Yes, make sure you're wearing a face covering. Right, I think I've finished with my sandwich now. Right, so... That's that, that's that, that's... See what else we got in the bag of bag of treats here at the moment. Wonder what we got rummaging around in here. Let's have a little look. Oh, there's got to be something in the bag somewhere. There's got to be something in here. Oh. Uh, where is it? Ah, uh, yeah, I can feel it. Got my hand on it. Yep. Accurately put it, the right one on the table. Though. There we go. You right, OGS? Welcome back. Oh, and thank you for the raid. Thank you. You join us as we're just passengering up to uh, St Pancras. Before we take a high speed service back as you join us for a day again in the life. So welcome to OGS's uh, 
folks that have come over with him. So we're uh, just having a little bit of rest and relaxation as we've already been working since four o'clock in the morning in the game time. And uh, it's about seven or eight o'clock now in the morning. So yeah. I'm not even sure where we are now. I think we're, are we, where are we? are we on our way? Are we on high speed one now? Olaf, as you're driving. Yeah, it's a long day, seven hours and 50 minutes. We're currently approaching four hours of stream time. Ah, oh, right, okay. Oh, just going through Higham. So, yeah, got the Snickers, bottle of Coke, got our phone on the table. I'm going to put the phone away, though, I think. I'm going to... I'm going to put the phone away for a bit. Right. Oh, need a bit of reading material, I think. I think that's what we need. Let's find something half decent. Oh, I knew we should have gone to WH Smith's before we uh, started the stream. Forget how long a journey it is into St Pancras. Uh, oh, what a call. Oh dear, there's not really much to choose from in my bag. Just got some old bits and pieces Let's see what we've got Okay, let's just, there we go, got a little, little copy of railway mag there. Let's move our, our Snickers over the table a bit. Lovely article about the Azumas in this edition. No, nah, we don't. We don't bother with the Metro. Cheers, OGS. Thank you very much for the cheers. Much appreciated. <laughs> now nah, we've got rail. Which oh, can't it? When did we drop all of those frames? Blimey, is it the actual and has somebody ripped the and folder off of uh, one of the systems? And is it just little announcements as like audio files or I'm I'm not gonna do it on stream. Oh, 
probably. Ah, right, okay. That's cool. But I mean, is the is, is some of them like quite long ones that you could like literally drop into the stream and stuff? Or does it have to piece all of the words together? Oh, the wind's picking up a bit here. Ah, oh. oh, right, okay. I'll have a little play around with that. I've got the old stream deck now, haven't I? So I can... Uh, can do cool stuff with it I can put them in cheers OGS thanks very much for the cheers and the raid much appreciated have a great afternoon um, if you get the need to come or feel the need to come back we'll still be here as we've still got what have we still got left to do on our diagram today let's just bring it up so we have We've got the 827 off St Pancras, which gets to Faversham at 936, and we take it the whole length there. We then get off, and then we take the 10 o'clock Faversham to Pan St Pancras, and then we sit on the cushions back to Gillingham. So, yeah. We've still got another... Three, oh, excuse me, three hours to go. So, finishing around four o'clock, like I said, maybe even five. So yeah, it's a proper day in the life. Headphones in, railway magazine on the table, and a bottle of Coke. It's all right, I'll figure it out, mate, to be fair. Don't don't wait around for me. I'm only going to be using the... What are the, um, the audio file format? What format are they in?
Sorry guys, just writing an email to somebody that's uh, asked for some information. Sorry, back with you guys. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, guys, so we are now in Tunnel 3. I can tell because of the way that it does the uh, bits outside the train. I don't think they really show up on the screen on the stream. Uh, we're now on our way from Ebbsfleet to Stratford International. Not really much to look at out the window there. Oh, whee, arm's gone through the train. Oh yeah, I did look at that one, Rogan. Unfortunately, the uh, image size is too small. Right, there we go. There's the Dartford Bridge. We're in Essex. Right, let's... Uh Put the magazine away. Let's put a bottle of Coke away for a bit. recommend Olaf as a driver here, it's been a lovely trip.
I wonder if the motion blur does get rid of it. I don't know if you can see it on the stream. If I make the... Just that blurring at the end of the train. Let's just have a little, little test and see if turning motion blur on gets rid of that. Yes, it does. Okay, it just makes everything horrific because of the way the wheels are. So, if we turn off now motion blur you do get the slight where the train's moving too quick for the game to keep up We're about to dive into the tunnel. I can tell that fence was put in in a hurry. <laughs> Glitchy fence. Got the broken PIS indicators again. Quite a lot of padding on those seats. I wonder how realistic they are. I haven't ridden on one of these for ages. I seem to remember them having a lot less padding on them. back out. <clears throat> You're 30 seconds behind. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> what, is that on the new ones, Rogan? On the 777s, or whatever they call them. How big is this fire, Lolly? Go oh, four hundred. That is literally somebody has just taken the whole land folder and Right, you can hear the train slowing down for Stratford now. Show in folder. Yeah, we'll extract it there. Watch it completely blow everything up. Here we are, Stratford International. Uh, 
let's have a little look then. Let's see what we got. Hang on, let's push this button. <laughs> Did you guys get that on stream? <laughs> we could. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Just r rattling them off. <laughs> oh, it's a playlist. Ah, right. It doesn't sound right without the reverb. Hang on, let's see what we got. Oh, she's having to think about. Oh, oh, blimey. Oh, this is causing my processor to go absolutely mental. Does anybody know what the operator code for Southeastern is off the tops of their heads? Yeah, I'm looking for the I'm looking at the I don't see an SC. Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh, wow. The things people do. Station announcements. Right, what funny ones have we got in here then? There's another zip within that. need that we <laughs> we need that for <laughs> for this route with the broken PIS on the on the front oh brilliant what else we got in this folder oh hang on what's this one Gonna have some fun with this. There's so many, so many. Thank 
<laughs> oh, we're coming into St Pancras. Cool, what way what way to waste some time that was. <laughs> What's this? Oh, line. Right, here we go. Oh, we got reasons here. This could be funny. <laughs> right. Lovely jubbly. Right, okay, so we are now taking a service out of St Pancras. Oh, uh, I am going to have to record some for clips for the, the uh, thing. Oh. Right, what's the one on the... Let's have a look at the diagram. The 827. So I'm not entirely sure what that one is, but I shall be right back. Right, okay, we are back. Right, so we just need to wait and see which one comes the 827 because that's the train we're taking out we're not taking the Margate one out because that's only going on the low level it's going down towards Ashford Right, so the nine nine twenty seven? No, we don't want the nine twenty seven. It's the eight twenty seven we want. So that 
Is there another one over there? No. Ah, oh, falling down. Forget there's this platform. Where's this one going? Oh. Yes, this is the one we want. Oh, we've got a cheeky little six coach. Right, so we're... Get on board. Turn all these on. While we're there. Good. Have that door open for a little while. Yep, we'll begin the service. Let's prep it. Let's master keys in. Right. Let's see if that. See, that's peculiar. Right, there we go. Okay. So, just pop the DRA on. And sort our lights out. The only thing we can't do is set our passenger information system because that relies on the uh, automatic system. Fifco24, thank you very much for following. Welcome to the stream. Oh, that'd be helpful. Three no three nineties are three ninety. Oh. Right. So let's just go back to no more an announcements for the moment. I can imagine that some are better than others, some are worse than others. I don't think they've used Ann, have they? I don't think they've licensed her.
Cheers, Olaf. Thanks very much for bringing us into St Pancras. Enjoy your afternoon, whatever you decide to do. Are you off to work or just chilling? So just patiently got to wait for the service to begin. We've got our doors open. So we're just waiting for the right time. Listen to a few more tunes before we set off. Right, so we've mobilised one Foxtrot 17. So, can mark all of that in green. And so, one Foxtrot 14. It says we're on foot still, so. Right, Stratford. Ebbsfleet, Gravesend, Strood, Rochester, Chatham, Gillingham, Raynham and Sittingbourne, where we finish at Faversham. And then we got a reverse, and then we bring one up, and then that will be us done. So it's 8.27 in game time until 09.36 the first run and then it's 10 until 11 for the second run so we still have got three hours left Goes the Mark 8 service. So, this is a Ramsgate service that we are going to be driving. Which will be about an hour, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's a terminal station. The only turbulence is going to be the driver breaking wind.
So what's... We've just got a few more minutes to wait. Everybody waiting to get on even though the doors are open. You can board the train, folks. So have we got anything coming in or is everything just going out? It looks like it's going to be a bit dead at St Pancras for a little while. Oh, there comes a 12 car. Just leaving Stratford. Just five more minutes, folks, and then we'll be back on the move. We still haven't got the Ramsgate on the PIS yet, though. Maybe that'll come on at 8.25. Just a six-car train today. For this trip. Let's make sure our reds are on the back. Yep. Just need to test our hazard lights. Still got a red at the end of the platform. Five minutes to go until departure. Well, we've nearly done two litres of water this morning. I wonder if I keep having to go for a bathroom break. Right. Train is all prepped. Oh, one thing I do need to do, which my personal preference. We turn that to the highlight for the gauges there. Right. Okay, let's put the iPod away. There we go. Let's focus and get ready to take this train out. So yeah, just a reminder for everybody watching, this is the first of two streams today. There is a... Um, We've got the uh, Great Western Diesels release this evening. Um, so, again, make sure you f hit the follow button so that Twitch tells you when we go live. And we'll have some uh, Great Western 52 running from midnight tonight. comes that one still not seen Trainbow yet this morning we've been playing the game for a while yes we've had to reset because the game's 
or the timetables frozen on numerous occasions due to delays but uh, yeah very nearly our time of departure so that's going out quite quick turn around that one back to Dover Priory what units are there 008 and 027 So if anybody's got any recommendations for which route you'd like to see a day in the life of next, please do let me know on socials or in chat. Obviously it won't be today, it's just ridiculous, but I will plan it for the future. If anybody's got any particular route they want to see it on, quite a lot of planning does have to go into it excuse me, to make sure that it works, so. Right, okay, we're loading our passengers. The PIS system has initiated Ramsgate. That's where we're off to. So we can close that door now. And we are soon going to be off and running. All right, we can take our DRA off because the signal at the end of the platform has now gone to green. Put the reverser into forward. We have line voltage. The on-train management recording, or the on-train monitoring recorder is active. And we are good to go. Let's close the doors. Brakes to minimum. Oh, we've got another minute to wait yet. Stratford. Is our next station. Those people who obviously stood waiting around but didn't want to get on the train. Obviously waiting for the next one. So a lot of train spotters, Ollie. Right, we're going on the Romeo Road, the R Road. <laughs> we've been waiting so long for me to leave.
Right, let's continue on. <laughs> See me hit the hit the buffers. Well, we haven't had any hiccups today, apart from the game causing the hiccups. We've been pretty well behaved. Oh, that hill's a bit severe. That. Need to give it some juice there. Yeah. Right, we're heading into Tunnel 1. Right, away we go. So again, we're only clear to 200 kilometers an hour because by the time we get there, it'll be time to slow down again. So we're just going to ease ourselves towards Stratford. We're not going to hang the train out to dry and get the last three carriages hanging around around each corner. Because we're going so fast, in theory, it's going to take us a lot longer to stop. See, now the speed has increased to 225, but we don't really want to be going up there because as soon as we get towards it, see, we've got the flashing signal to notify us that we're going to be starting to slow down. So, we might as well put the brake in and start. Yeah, we don't want to thrash the, the arse off the Capri gear. So about 32% of the braking force. Just to avoid the uh, TVM taking us out. So go to 160 in a minute. Go. The next one will be a hundred. Here we go, a hundred. There we go. See, anybody would have thought I'd driven this before. Miserable weather we've got here today. Has anybody else got rain and howling wind? I know we're supposed to be getting a storm over the next couple of days. But it always rains in Lancashire.
Somebody's going to die in Stratford today. Look, Hitman's got off. He's going to do his shopping at Westfield. Sounds about right for the Amazon folks. Did he get all wet? Oh dear. Oh, what's happened here? Falling through the earth again. Oh, surely you can get them to deliver them on Prime though. They normally tend to be pretty good when they when things go wrong. They do replace them pretty quickly. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Nothing to do with me, Governor. But I don't think I can actually get back out of here though. I think that's officially stuck. I think that camera might be broken until we get off now. <laughs> Whoops. been live for now. Oh, Eddie two two five, come on the train. thing about this route is the amount of time you spend in a tunnel. Come on, pop us out of Dagenham. There is light. 
light at the end of the tunnel. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can fix this. No, we still, we still can't fix it. Tilt again, train. I think we're caught on something, but I don't know what. Just need the tilt mechanism to come in and then throw us out. Ooh. Nope. this bogey, bogey cam. Definitely get a sense of speed, didn't you? bit of tilt on this. Right, we're going over the flyover now at the Dartford Bridge and then on uh, Dartford Tunnel and then over the bridge, under the bridge. Isn't it? Right, we'll power off. Minimal brakes. We need 30% of brakes because it's so f steep a downhill gradient. towards Ebb's fleet now. Kent, glorious Kent. should get the AWS in a moment to confirm we're back onto UK traditional signalling. We might have already had it though. It just automatically cancelled it as we came. Oh no, there it is.
Right, so when we come to a stand, we release the doors. Put the DRA on. Reverse it to neutral. Stick our finger in the DC hole. Pan up, shoes down. Pan up, shoes down. Back to forward and take the DRA out because we haven't got to worry about it because the signal is green. Let me out! Let me out! You'd be broken on this train. Right, let's lock our right hand doors. It's stuck underneath, I think. Can't even get it out to the sides at the minute. It is literally stuck in the underframe. Right, we're on a 60 mile an hour bit of railway now. Increasing to 70 after this downward climb or downward sloop. Head towards Gravesend. Downward climb here. Yeah, it's been a long. It's been a long shift. It's been a long shift, Ollie. It's getting towards the end of the day. Well, it could be a downward climb. <laughs> no, it was multi-aspect signals, colour 4 or colour 3, I think was what the bloke said. So there we go, 30 mile an hour for the 30 board. We're not going into platform zero at Gravesend. So we don't have to worry about that little crossover there. We'll then bring ourselves to a nice, gentle, relaxed stand. Stop short though, so just ease off the brakes. Reapply the PIS board. My braking's my stopping distance and everything is all off kilter at the moment. Still can't. Right, you reckon get out. 
stand up, sit down, Brogan. No, still stuck in there. That's definitely not coming out of there until we we get right off the train, I think. Give it up so that it unlinks. Um, I can't get out of the train and go to external cam, it won't let me. Because I'm not actually technically in the seat. It proper bugged. mile an hour yep I killed the camera rip the camera I just have to use this one instead oh, right just approaching five hours of solid entertainment and we haven't had one spad or one accident. I am starting to get hungry though. And I can't keep drinking all of this because whatever you drink or come out. Okay, two seconds. So Strood is our next station. <laughs> yes, it is. Seventy miles an hour now. Now we're coming up to a three aspect signalling section here now, folks, in the down direction between Strew uh, Gravesend and Strood, or Gravesend and Higham, in all fairness. But in the down direction it's three aspect, in the up direction it's four aspect. And they're not multi aspect, they are bulb signals oh see three aspects So let's have a quick look and see who else is streaming Train Sim World at the moment. Just me and one other fur person. Ooh. He's driving the Bakerloo line as well, so good luck to him. Thank you for joining me. 
the number one Xbox streamer of Train Sim World. And I've held that title now for a month. So thank you for helping me achieve that. With our little community that we have here. Oh, 465. There's another one. People saying they're not spawning in timetable mode. Um, hello? We've seen plenty today. <laughs> yes, you are, Ollie. It's kind of a nice feeling, though, to be the, the only person that really streams this dedicatedly on the Xbox. I wonder if we'll get a, a dev in tonight. For, uh, Great Western Diesels. Well, if he's about, he should hopefully pop in. It's always good to have Matt in the stream. I think a lot of the time people... Um, watch anonymously now so they can just see what goes on. Well, I'd be interested to see what the viewer figures are. Because I, I only see registered viewers. You only get to see who's registered and watching. You don't get to see the unregistered people watching. I don't want to make my channel follower only because that's just I'm mugging myself off. But it would be interesting, but Twitch doesn't give you those figures for whatever reason. It just tells you who's who's in the chat. Like at the moment it says there's nine viewers, but I see about 20 people in chat. Work that out.
I'm back, sorry about that folks. Oh, like I said, the more water you drink, the more that needs to come out. rolling back here. What's going on? Well, I'll just... Oh, for crying out loud, game, come on. There we go. Oh, dear me. Come on, Lee, pay attention. Chop, chop. So when the rear of the train... Oh! Whee! Who would have known there's water underneath there? I never knew there was water under there. At least we've got the camera back. Train boat! So the only train that we have left to see now is the Medway bid one for this session.
See, it's interesting that they don't use Platform 3 outside of the rush hour. So isn't there something in... Isn't there a source in... See, it says nine, see. That's the official one that it, it's pulling off the Streamlabs. That's what Streamlabs is telling it is there. Let's remove that off. We will play with that later. Cross those two off the list. So we're good for 30 through Rochester's old station. after Chatham, isn't it? Yes, it is, Lee. Right. Lift and coast through the tunnel. Rogan, what have you done for lunch today? What has a kaleidoscope had your culinary skills create for lunch today? Last night's bag bowl, eh? With a jacket potato. Quite. That's made me mouth water, that has. I'm on a diet at the minute. So, porridge for breakfast, no lunch, and then a dinner. Or a tea, as you guys call it. And plenty of water. We're not on Slimming World, we're just on uh, Determination. Right.
away we go. I didn't realise the depot whistle worked on this one. Yeah. Alright, 30 until we come round the corner. Is that another 465 coming towards us? I do believe it is. Or is it... No, no it's 375. So we're clear for 50. We've got a mile to Gillingham. So. Do need to make up some time. So we will be uh, accelerating quite hard. Two hellos. Barriers are not down at the level crossing yet. Definitely going to be stopping at Gillingham for a moment as the signaller has decided not to put the barriers down yet. But then again, we have got to load and unload. Oh. Four six five in the bay platform now at Gillingham. I'd love to know what console these players are playing on when they're not getting the, these. spawning in there's been plenty in this session today just a shame we didn't get to drive any until the end I think that's been there for quite some time. No lights on, no nothing. Well, we can take the DRA off. So we've got the green. Start to lock the doors. to forward and away we go thanks for sending that over earlier Rogan I'll have a little look at that off stream Sort of see if I can figure that out. Let's 
180. Nothing in the depot at uh, Gillingham at the moment. Nice to see all the trains are out and about. And we're now on the, approaching the 80 mile an hour. Throttle off now. yellows now coming up because of the level crossing at the end of Raynham. So just put minimum brakes on, so we're going to be stopping. Absolutely loving this route though. It really does feel quite hustle and bustly when you're doing it in the rush hour going into London. I thought I think it's been a good I think it's been good today. I've really enjoyed it. I think I've said that before, but it just feels like uh, we've actually been driving and spending the day in the life of a train driver. Yeah, we had the glitches with uh, Rochester earlier, but what can we do, eh? That's not our fault. That's the game's fault for not um, handing off the train to go up to Rochester on time. ahead at the end of the platform there. on our list as station stop dealt with. So we've got Sittingbourne and Faversham to go on this run. And then this train will go off on its merry way to to Ramsgate and then we'll uh, take something back up to London. And then we're done. That will be the day in the life of the driver. Alright, let's lock our doors. Reverse it to forward. Again, it's interesting to see the amount of time the uh, AI spends at Raynham. Right, 80 mile an hour bit of railway now. Look, there's trains queuing up for days. Again, I reckon that's the signal are putting the the javelin ahead of the stopping service it 
So in theory you'll have the delays again. Like the chronic delays. That might explain why you're sat at that red for ages with a Victoria service that comes across you. Because that train is late in theory. I could be wrong though. Alright, come on then train. 80 mile an hour. Let's go. coming up towards a 70 mile an hour now at the end of New England Station. There's the 70 board. They're not the fastest loaded steel trains. Have you got 137 or 237s on it? It's the only way to have it, Ollie. Double headed. With 37s. They're not that powerful, believe it or not. Alright, we're on our approach now to Sittingbourne. off to Sheerness. The Isle of Sheppey. Thanks, Rogan. Cheers. Not finished yet. We've still got another run to do. And then, in theory, another passenger run back. But that means we've got to change. we we'll get one out of St Pancras, and then we've got to change at... Uh oh, no. We can go all the way to Gillingham. 
because that's where our book off point is. To be fair, I don't think I'm actually going to do that. I think I will end the stream after the next arrival at St Pancras. We're only 20 seconds late now. Get in. We were a couple of minutes late when we uh, got to left Ebbsfleet. Happy days. Do you think I should do another one like this, Rogan? Like, sort of try and figure out different times a day to do it and the stuff. And different routes. Maybe we could do it on the Great Western. I'll have a look at the timetable tonight and have a see see what how many services there actually are and stuff to see if it's viable to do it. Right, seven miles to Faversham. speed. What uh, unit have we got here? So, I think I've driven this the most in the game. Something sitting born, so we can mark that off our list. Slightly over speeding, slightly over speeding. Through 
Tynham station. I don't think I've actually stopped at this station yet in the game. I must have done. Oh, there's a map there I need. There's some newspaper bits there. There's a sign there. Yeah, we definitely need to stop there at some point and collect those collectibles. Two yellows. Quite a way outside of uh, Faversham, this. Oh, stepped up to green. So, have we got something in front of us? Yes, there's a little eight car in front of us. Ready, eh? in it. Right, so we've got the red ahead. Just leave the minimum break in. Just slowly, slowly, slowly approach it. Waiting for that freight train to come. Oh no. Wow. Busy at Faversham. Hopefully that train's going across that crossover there. Yes. Oh. That was almost a bit awkward. Waiting for the 465 that went, or the 395 that went to Faversham. Wow, this is proper timetable in this. Nice, a nice bit of variety. Lovely bit of variety.
red signal will be just around the corner here. Oh, that train's going into Faversham plat that platform, so we should be overtaking it in theory. So if we creep around here slow enough, yep, there we go. The signal's off now. So put a bit of power in. Oh, what a lovely way to end this run down. A little bit of restrictive signalling. A little bit of, a little bit of shuffling going around there. Look. And I like the fact that there's those passengers, like the uh, the units, using the platforms as well. Got four platforms, so they're using each of the ones on the like the the relief platforms, and then you've got the main line main line platforms in the middle. So that unit is obviously just cleared to leave. It's got a green signal to come out of the platform. Some very good signalling and routing going on. Because there's like two units already waiting to to do what they got to do. That's what I like to see is how busy the route feels. Oh, where's that one going? Dover Priory. turned off that, we just need to turn that off so that we don't break the game. And that other one's gone off on its way. So we we get stiffed, basically. <laughs> we, because we were late. Alright, lock the doors. We've got to get off, so we'll open the door. Do we get a gold, or have we done this service before? I hope we've done this one before. Alright. Turn to free roam. Right, so lovely Ollie. Right, so see now they used to be on the platform, like you come off and you'd walk to a point and then it would release the train. I think they need to reintroduce that. Because Christ knows how long this is going to sit here for now. Because it's supposed to... Oh, it's the 9.55. So it's going to sit there for a little while anyway. No, it's not. It's a different service. Alright, anyway. What time's the next one we've got coming in?
I've got no idea how you make these trains leave when they're supposed to. Oh, it'll just go in a minute anyway. Because I think they're saying up its backside, waiting to come in. Maybe not. Right, let's see when the next tyre... Yes, we want to give it up. At least it asked. So we've got... Is it the 10 o'clock we're doing? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'm back. I'm back. Oh. So, yes. So, we've got one more run to do, guys. And that's another hour long run. That's from Faversham to St Pancras. So, that's another hour. And it's a high speed run as well. So. Nice cheeky little six car to take us back. It'll probably be zero one one that comes back. <laughs> hey, that's what we've got. Uh, you can change the stream quality. What do you mean you can change the stream quality? 
if it's with regards to what you're viewing, that's the anybody can change their stream quality. You shouldn't be able to change the stream quality because that's something coming from my computer. But if you're viewing it, you can change it. I don't understand where you're viewing it, Ollie, to understand. I know that I can change the viewing quality of any channel. Yeah, that's because that's what you broadcast at. I broadcast at 1080p, and I've enabled it so that people can shoot downscale the quality of what they're viewing for the devices that they're on, or their potato internet. So in slobs, if you open up slobs and you go into settings and go to output and then streaming, you choose your bitrate and everything. But if you go to video, you'll see your base canvas resolution and then you'll see your output scaled resolution. And that's where you choose what resolution you want to output at. Uh, you've got your downscale filter. Uh, you should use Lanxos for that. And then you get to choose the FPS that you outpack. So I put out 1080p60. Because that's what my input is, 60 frames. So I output at 60. left in this. I have two of these while we've been streaming. So that's why if you're wondering why I keep having to pop off.
Right, sorry guys, I'm, while we're waiting for this train to come in, I'm just doing some bits and pieces. Wibble Factor has kicked off again on the forums. Oh, and I love winding people up. Right, so what do we have in there? Six minutes to go. Hang on a second then, Ollie, and I shall. It's a particular user on the forums. He, bless him, he's, he's not the brightest bulb in the box. And there seems to be a lot of wibble. Uh, where's it gone? Just remain civil if you do reply to it, Ollie. I can't be dealing with stress heads again. So they're claiming that it's not fixed on Xbox. Well, I'm sorry, but I call... I haven't got a horn to do, but... I call ball crap. There we go. taken out by our own train coming in then. Right, so this is the final run of the day as a driver. So just wait for the doors to get released. Gonna release the doors. Okay. Oh, the driver's just decided to ditch it and run.
That's interesting. The circuit breaker shut. And yes, it is the service that we had last time. See? The train we had last time. So luckily the rear cab was shut down properly when we did it. So we haven't got to worry about any spurious brake activations. first then that's going to be the million dollar question what time does this one depart oh this terminates here and then it's off cool, look, one minute after us Operation Wibble. No, you try and point stuff out to him and he gets all aggressive. If he came and watched this stream, he'd see that there is plenty of 465 action. Available. Oh, just have a look at the link above radar, unless you've just come back in. So we gotta wait until ten o'clock and then we are good to rock and roll. Let's get there. Get that in. Everything's good. Bring the brake up to minimum. Right, so this is the final run of our diagrammed day. Which will take us up to about seven hours of consecutive streaming. Right, let's go. One second.
good answer, Ollie. How aggressive you'll get until you're lying, until you. He'll probably say that that response is me replying to myself. He has done before. Five at the moment. There's the 90 board. No, the 465 doesn't have 136 services, it has 85. Looks painful. Rogan, are you there? Oh, the... The... The spawn rate of the white train in this, the 465, the really nice sounding one. The one that you say sounds like trains in Sweden. The guy needs to learn how to count.
before I post my reply, I do need to check something though, which is why I've just asked if Rogan's here, because he can he can do the uh, the due diligence. Okay then, Ollie. See you in a bit, mate. We've got 70 coming up in a mile and a half, but at the moment the line speed is a 90. Okay for time at the moment. See the thing with the 465 is that it is not based at the it's not based at the, the Gillingham depot, it's based at the Slade Green Depot. So if it is going to be depoted or go to depot while awaiting It'll go to Slade Green, it won't go to Gillingham, so the game... Oh. Can you just have a little look, Ray, uh, Rogan? Can you load up Train Sim World 2? And go to the 465. And just switch between the two liveries and see if the the same livery, like the, the, the livery with about 40 or so services. Can you see if when you change the livery those services are in with the 85, please? that makes sense. Because I'm pretty sure it's only timetable to do 85 services, whereas 375 is timetable to do 75, uh, 200 something or the other, as it's only got one livery. And the chances of the 465 
of you getting a 465 because they share the same head code numbers is whatever percentage 85 is of 200 and whatever it is. Oh, excuse me. Thanks, Rogan. Cheers, mate. Much appreciated. Yeah, on the southeastern high speed, if you go explore and then timetable and then choose the 465, please. And then just cross reference and see if they're duplicated in the 80 odd list compared to the smaller list which I'm pretty sure they are Because now that we're out of rush hour, we're seeing a lot more 375s because I'm pretty sure that uh, Dovetail have said it so that the 465s go to Slade Green and then they will appear again in the evening. that's going to have been one that we that has gone up to London and come back So there's two liveries of the 465. I just need to know if the livery with the larger amount of services um, is duplicating stuff from the smaller one or if they're, if they're separate. Oh, not route number. No, no, just the services. So in the, the 85 list... Is that 85 new services or is it whatever the other one is plus different ones to take it to 85?
and he's now posting photos for Ollie. Oh, uh, what? Uh, I don't know. So here we go, we're coming up on the Gillingham Depot now. Yep, there's a 375 in there, which is what you would expect, because it's a 375 depot. There's nothing in the sheds, or in the shed. I think that guy needs to just do the laws of probability. He's not going to see a 465 as much as he wants. And if you are in the stream, Stephen, it's all about the laws of probability and faction fractions and the chances of getting a 465 at that time of day in which you're waiting at Rochester for one is going to be minimal because like I say Dovetail Games will make that 465 rarer than Rockinals do do's outside of peak time because they don't well, yes they're subbing in for the 700 services but 375 is the main train for the route for commuter stuff over the stopping stuff so getting a 465 is going to be very rare outside of peak rush hour if you go to a rush hour time like you said 7 o'clock in the morning 465s are everywhere But you're not going to get that many during the middle of the day. So the service at Raynham at the moment is an 8 car 375. There's a 8 car 375 in the Gillingham Depot. Um, which is going to make up the next Gillingham service that comes Gillingham to Victoria service. Which is going to go in that platform there. And it's whether we see an odd one coming towards us. We're not going to go past any. It's whether there is some coming towards us. And like I say, we've seen plenty of 465s during this stream this this morning. And it's all and it's all been rush hour. So we're now coming out of the peak rush hour. So from four o'clock, well, from six o'clock in the morning until nine o'clock, or whenever half eight when we left. And went to St Pancras, there was loads of four six fives. So it's whether we see some going in the opposite direction coming out of London again, but I'm pretty sure the, the chances are going to be minimal because three seven fives will do all of the services outside a peak. Right, so we've got the sixty mile an hour.
Yeah, there we go. Hit the wrong bleeding button. Oh dear. Right, back on the focus of driving. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cool. Yeah, it's easy. I'm just starting to get a little bit frustrated, but I'm trying to multitask at the minute. So, Olaf, sorry. Yeah. I couldn't do it all day, every day. This is the final one, so it's nearly home time. Home time when we get to St Pancras. Yeah, what, I, what, what I'm trying to find out, Rogan, is if the, the ones in the 51 list appear in the 80 list. Because I know that they added some services subsequently to the the 81 to the other list, but what I'm trying to figure out is if they are duplicated in that list. Is there the same stuff in the 81 as there is in the 50? Yeah, that's what I mean. So, so what I'm getting at is 
the list, the 81 list, is just the 51 list with extra services in it. Well, that was a bit silly radar. Thanks for looking, Rogan. Much appreciated. That sounds about right for what we've done, Olaf, yeah. Yeah, there's a... Olaf, if you go into the technical forums, there's a guy complaining that there's no 465 AIs. And what we're trying to do is explain to him that the 465s are only logged to do 85 timetabled services, and then it's split between that and a 375. And he seems to think that there's 136 services, but I'm pretty sure the list, the big list, bigger list, the larger list for the 465 is the other livery which is 51 plus additional services yeah well he's he's kicking off big time now because we've been streaming this all day and i'm just sort of saying during the rush hour we saw loads of 465s but outside of the rush hour we've hardly seen any on the route and i'm putting that down to the fact that the 465 is a slade green depot train it's not a gillingham train or a Ramsgate depot, it, it's at Slade Green. So when they go into London, and then they're taken out, they'll go back into London for the peak, and then they'll be doing the Gravesend to Rainham services in the afternoon peak. And I don't think he quite understands that, bless him. He's sitting at Rochester waiting for a 465 to turn up at 11 o'clock in the morning, and I don't think the game's going to give him any. Because once they've all buggered off into London, they'll only go between Gravesend and London Charing Cross. They're not going to come down to Raynham. It's only in the evening peak that they do that. Trainbow. Oh, look. We saw Trainbow going up the other way. Hello. <laughs> Again, it's an armchair enthusiast trying to trying and failing to understand or not even trying but failing to understand how diagramming and locomotive planning and unit planning happens. And I can't fact check I've had to ask Rogan and he's confirmed that the list is the same plus some more in the 81. So it confirms my theory that the, the 465 is only booked for 81 services but it shares those with the, the 375. Oh excuse me.
and knowing dovetail games that would be something that they do in that they everything returns to its depot and the 465 depot is off off world so Two seconds, guys. Gravesend. Number six cars. I'm going to hazard a guess we're in the tunnel now. The whole train. As we have no train length. Indicator. Pop it into notch one, just so it keeps keeps us at that sort of speed. We're now coming into the lands of distant signals in high tunnel. Three aspect signaling to a four aspect signaling. Oh, I loved that. I loved that yesterday where I actually stood and filmed the signals after the patch dropped and the 465 ironically came past us chime on that one and again this signal that we're approaching now at the end of the platform at higher which is a distant has an AWS magnet and it chimes yep there we go
Then this is a four aspect signal. You alright, Ollie? This is a four aspect signaling. November Kilo 460. And then we have the banner repeater coming round to Who Junction, which indicates um, what the signal ahead of us is actually, whether it's a red, yellow, or I don't know if it's a three stage banner repeater, so don't quote me on that. No, it's not, it's a two stage. But that's a four aspect signal. That's the yard protecting signal. Bloody number T yesterday. Nice and busy Who Junction. No 66s on their side. That's what we like to see. Oh, look, another 375 coming towards us at 20 to 11. Out of the peak. I think I might have hit the nail on the head as to why that bloke's not seeing any 465s. And this also is a, a nice way of seeing how they've managed to put the overlap in in the signal. Because the signal doesn't immediately go to red as you go past it. As you can see, once the train passes, it then goes, because that's called an overlap, which is on the signal. Up to yep. Yeah, so we'll be if you guys can get it to there. That's a fifty pound donation at the end of the month to the Heritage Railway Fund, and I will let you guys choose which Heritage Railway we put it to. Too late now, we're going to get to 50 for the 50. Yeah, plenty of time. I just love the fact that that 40 over 50 bush is hidden in the foliage. Very, very realistic that. <laughs> no, no. Yep, take care. Enjoy your afternoon out. Are you going photo snapping? Are you going fotting, sir? Going to do some fotting. Ah, fair enough. Well, enjoy your time with your old man. And we'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by, Ollie. So we can now mark Gravesend off of our list. Oh, 465. So there you go. There's, there's one coming down. I didn't see where it was going to.
Oh, it's going to rain them. Hitman's in the... Oh, dear. Oh, we've got somebody in the back of ours. Or drivers everywhere. Drivers everywhere. Doors locking. Wait for the interlocking light. There we go. Alright, away we go. Ebb's fleet. So we have got the uh, the power changeover approaching. Oh yes, radar. Guess what? Rogan's got something to share with you, and it's not a dirty sock. <laughs> a pair of dirty socks I don't think your missus would stand for a dirty sock on the floor in the bedroom would she Rogan brake thing because I didn't realise the brakes hadn't actually applied. Right, so we've got our power changeover, DRA enabled, reverse it to neutral. Here we go, reverse it back, DRA 
IRA off. Upline green signal. JBS, are you referring to what is my favourite train to operate in this game? Um, 465. Only because it's got great childhood memories. Oh, in real life, I only operate 66s. So that's all I'm authorised to, to drive. So yeah, a bit boring, I'm afraid, on that one. I can't really give you any other comments as to what others are like to drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 60 miles an hour. Ah, it's nice of the TVM to kick in earlier. Let's get going. And another fun fact is there's not a full 250, uh, 25,000 watts or volts, sorry, going through those overhead lines dropping down from Ebsley. You don't get the full whack until you join the uh, Channel Tunnel Rail Link. You run on reduced, from what I understand, to stop the acceleration from going absolutely haywire. Right, so we're just waiting for our first TVM signal increase. There we go. So we open up the throttle again. the last 10 or 11 minutes of the uh, the diagram today can't believe it's seven hours it's flown by uh, it's all to do with licensing JBS Eurostar do not license um, their trains for digital uh, reproduction they do for models but they don't for digital for some reason. Dovetail Games have asked them for it and did ask them for AI Eurostars on this, but they said no. Alright, as we come out into Essex, quite a steep incline this coming out of the tunnel. to the point where you think you've not got any power going into the engines or the motors should I say yes they could and you could also relivery them in sort of a Eurostar type um, paint job I suppose I'm not good enough in the livery editor to design a Eurostar livery. I could probably do the colours, but I wouldn't be able to do the logos. And you have to do it. Oh, each, each each coach individually now it take forever because they have ten coach trains, aren't they? They're massively long. Yes. Yeah. Although, all, yeah, well, they're Siemens, aren't they? The ice trains, are they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're Siemens. And the new Eurostar is Siemens. Quite like the new Eurostars, to be fair. The new Eurostar looks more like a TGV, and like you say, the old 373 more of a um, 
ice train. Yes, the, the old 373 seats were proper seats, I'd like to call them. They were the same seats that you'd get on a Mark III or Mark IV British Rail Coach, and they were the best seats ever on the railway. Super comfy. None of this ironing, sitting on an ironing board that you get now. But to be fair, the new Eurostar seats are pretty good as well. Nowhere near as good as the old ones, but... Than a, better than a poke in the eye of an IETC, eh, hey, Olaf? <laughs> it depends which 800 they are, JBS, because they are two different types with two different seats. And I'm pretty sure the 801s, the Azumas, have better seats on them because they were ordered by Virgin Trains, uh, the tr Virgin East Coast at the time, and not the government. The government ordered ones are shocking seats, like cheap as, cheaper than cheap, which is what the GWR ones have. With the exception of their bi-mode fleet, which is... Um, ordered directly by GWR but East Midlands Railway have decided to not go with the standard seating on their 810s they've actually gone to the people that provide the seats for the Greater Anglia Stadler Flirt trains so the 810s are going to have completely different seats to other 800 series and the seats on the Stadler are better than the ones on the 800 that I've ridden on. Oh, you can tell I'm, I'm slowly starting to flag now, seven, seven hours in. Well, we're nearly there. Nearly there where I can go and get some uh, lunch and... Uh, might as well wait for dinner now, but just chill out before tonight's stream around about 11. Yes, the the only problem that the Stadlers have got is that they've got um, European horns, so they sound a little bit weird. Oh, they've got Swiss horns on them, um, and they're not very good in the snow, ironically. That's more to do with a design flaw that Greater Anglia have now got to pay to rectify and retrofit snow plows on. To stop snow building up underneath them. Yeah, I'm streaming at 11 o'clock tonight, uh, Olaf, for the Great Western Diesels release. say I love train sim. Gotta keep that grind on mate.
and to be fair, I'm the only, like I said earlier, Olaf, I'm the only real Xbox Train Sim World streamer that's like sort of dedicated to it. You've got plenty of people that stream it regularly on PS5, but there isn't that many on Xbox, so I feel like I've got a community service I need to perform to assist people in choosing their, uh, their DLCs. Do you not like them, Pint? <laughs> I forget that, uh, Germany is state owned most of the time. So we're coming up to the final stop for our diagrammed day on the southeastern high speed. I'll tell you what, it's been enjoyable, but crikey, it's, it's been challenging to sort of keep with it. Then it goes back to 225, down to 160, 130, 160, 40. sense. Well, everything's being renationalised here in the UK, slowly but surely. You pay a track access fee.
Oh, oh we engage the brake. So here we go on our final approach. I'll tell you what, I'll be happy to go to McDonald's at St Pancras when we finish this. Starving. Need to make sure we're going at no more than 40 kilometres an hour as we come round the curve here, as we drop down. It is like a roller coaster. Because TVM is still active and will take you out. Well, it's not TV, it's KVB actually. Oh, we're going into platform 11. Haven't been into platform 11 for a while. Cheers, Rogan. Thanks very much. I'm glad. Whoa. Take my eyes off the speedo for a minute and we're shot up to 45. Yeah, well, I'm going to play with Anne later and see if we can get some custom bits made up for stream. That's Anne. She's affectionately known as Anne. Olaf will know who she is. He probably hears this one a lot. This is one thing that gets on my nerves, is that we have stopped, but it wants us to go closer to the buffers. Yeah, I haven't got Phil, unfortunately. Right, so now that we are in St Pancras, let's start to shut the, turn off all our safety systems. I know we wouldn't do that in real life, but unfortunately we have to in the game, otherwise it throws a wobbly. That's that, 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 and that done. Hello Harrison, <laughs> you're joining just as the stream is going to be coming to an end. Um, we've done 7 hours and 20 minutes um, of driving a day in the life of a southeastern driver. But unfortunately, the time has come for us to finish book off duty and go and enjoy some P&B time.
So we're just waiting for the, f the process to finish at St Pancras. So yes, I'd just like to thank you all for uh, coming into the stream today. It's been... Oh, I can tell it's got dark now. I've got to put the light. So yeah, thanks everybody for, for joining. Thanks to all the new followers, new subs, the cheers, the bits. There's a man behind me. Yes, there is. As I couldn't get one with a, without anybody being sat in the seat. So yes, 7 hours and 20 minutes. So yeah, if you type exclamation mark day, um, you'll see when we started and what time and everything like that. Yeah, it's still light here, but in the studio that I'm in, it's the natural light isn't coming in as well as it should be because it's grey and murky outside. It's bloody horrible. Right, so that is that's that, guys. That, that's that's the marathon that is a day in the life of a southeastern driver coming to a close. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for uh, joining me. Um, I will be back um, later on this evening. Um, I'm going to go and chill out for a little while now. Probably have a little little nap. Um, but we will be back at 11 o'clock tonight um, for the Great Western Diesels uh, releasing on Xbox, PlayStation and Steam tomorrow afternoon. Um, so make sure you, you do hit the follow button. Um, there will be some YouTube content for the Great Western Diesels coming out tomorrow um just covering off some bits and pieces that we don't get to cover on stream tonight um but yeah so thanks very much for popping by and i shall see you some of you tonight some of you tomorrow um but yes we will see you all soon so take care have a great evening afternoon and i'll see you later